Well, good day, tubes. Welcome to Steiner Tractor Part Day. Sweet! Finally got them in. Didn't actually take as long as they thought, as I thought. But they give you that uh, preparation as if, you know, it's going to take a while to get there. Don't be uh, in a big hurry for it. So, anyway, so uh, that's our old cap, of course. You've seen the new one. We got Ford here, so. I still need to clean up all this mechanism mess and stuff here. But I'll probably take it down to my parts washer, take all the points plate out of this thing and get it right in the parts washer and give her a good good scrubbing. But uh, let's open up these parts here. See what we got. I got some stuff actually for the AR too, believe it or not. Got a little story on that for you. All right, so. That is one distributor, dirty, 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 dirty distributor. <laughs> Very dirty. Anyways, we got uh, three boxes from Steiner. This one's really heavy. I don't know why. And uh, <laughs> I could have all got it in one, but you know I should have waited and then ordered a bunch of stuff. But I'm like, oh, I need this. Okay, let's order parts for the distributor. Oh, then I needed something for the AR. I already had this order in, so let's order something for the AR. And then I ordered something else, and I can't remember what it was now. But, all said and all together, you are looking at three boxes come from mm, Lennon, Michigan. And, um, American, U.S. money, I got about 400 and 400 or so dollars, just over $400. Converted to Canadian. $564 in three boxes here. <laughs> Makes me sick. <clears throat> I need uh, Steiner as a sponsor. That'd be nice. Um, Steiner Tractor, if you're watching this, I do accept sponsorships. <laughs> um, but anyways. Hopefully we're all good here. So what do I got here? Oh yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. So we got a nice fresh new set of plug wires. You have to uh, put these through that little tube thing and then um, trim them and then put the uh, the ends and the boots on and then they already have the spark plug boots on. Oh, it smells like, like brand new, new fresh rubber. Nice. There's a terrible cow tails. Got a place for them. <laughs> And there is our distributor kit. I'll get you down here a little bit more. Distributor kit here. So there's our new points condenser and rotor. That's cool. Looks like I got some detailing rebuilding to do here. That's interesting. And there's our gaskets. And it actually does come in here with the new gasket for the um, rotor cap. It's kind of buried underneath here, but that's it there. And that's the one for the front of the tractor, the big one here. And this cork one here is for that feller to sit on. The coil. Then we got some brand new Autolite spark plugs for it. I'll check the gaps all on them. Should be fairly close. So until I'm ready to rebuild that thing. This lever sitting over right here. And this filter. Got an oil filter for them too. They sold those too. So I'm like, yeah, I might as well grab one of them from them guys. These are nice because they give you that convenient little handle. I remember that now. Pull it up and pull it out of that canister. So you're not trying to like, oh come on. So that's good. Not much of a filter, it's kind of weird, but and it comes with a new uh, lid seal and gasket too, which is good. That's good. Lid seal and gasket. Well, that's for another day. Okay, let's uh, get you back up here again. And uh, this one might be the one with the catalog in it. Uh, just for I mean, you can see everything online, but one day you might not have online. <laughs> so 
So I got to mail order everything again. You imagine having to do that? Oh man. Holy cow. Okay, there's the catalog. The big mother catalog. Look at the size of this thing. A little bit of everything in there for you. Holy, it's even punched for a binder to go through the binder. Awesome. What else do I got in here? What the heck did I get? Oh, this is a coil. This will be the 12 volt, 12 volt internally resisted coil that for some reason is full of foam. What a mess. Okay, let's just get all that off and try to get all that out. But there is the coil. And this one is a 12 volt internally resisted coil. Isn't that nice? Even though they don't really mark anywhere on there that it's a 12 volt coil. Wow, why wouldn't they mark that? We're just supposed to know. Test the resistance. You know what? You could just stamp it on there. <laughs> Two seconds, stamp it on. And this will be just the uh, paperwork for it. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, they give you a, a diagram. I'll have to read that one. Ammeter to light the switch, key switch, starter switch. Wow. Well, there you go. That'll be good to have. That'll be good to have. Okay, so that is the coil. Nice. Oh, what else is there in here? Oh, yeah, that new resistor plate. So I got a new resistor plate. Because I kind of wondered if I was having a bit of problems with, with it, too. On this tractor, it's pretty rusty and it could be creating even more resistance than it should be. I, I don't know, but I'll get this one out of here, I'll show you. Ooh. Get out of there. How'd you get in there? How did you get in there? <laughs> okay, resistor plate. So this uh, shouldn't ground out, even though these screws are awful close, but once you tighten those down, they should pull through. But that's basically where you, a lot of your wires go to this one, actually. So that's pretty cool. And that little guy there is your resistor, resistor thingy, whatever you call it. And that actually sometimes will get really hot when there's power going through and it's coming to the other side and it's like not red hot, but it's heating up pretty good. So that's good. I'm gonna replace that too. Even though with this uh, coil, I probably don't need that. This will just be more paperwork stuff, yes. Okay. One more present. Gonna get a little garbage here. One more present. I order? Oh, this would be the stuff for the John Deere. That's right. So Steiner's actual store is closed right now. Uh, for people walking into their store in Michigan. So this is for the AR. Hello? Uh, more cow tails in it. Throwing them out. Okay, this is perfect. So, the other day, I'm still working on the fuel tank on the AR. I put it all back together and I got to the point where I want to put the uh, fuel bowl and that little three way valve back on. And I'm like, ugh, I didn't really like the looks of this stuff. I think it was probably original so loose and floppy this one will have to be all tightened up and stuff but oh yeah that's nice smooth so that is a three-way valve 
So, what happens is, um, let me think now. I'm trying to remember how this works. This thing sits one of these ways anyways, and then one line, the small one, I think it's this one here, goes out and around to the little wee tank, the one gallon tank, which you would have ran with just straight gas. And this one would be when you'd switch your valve. So it goes from one to the other. Holy cow, that is really tight. It goes from one to the other, so you'd flow gas here until it warmed up, and then you'd switch this valve around to the tractor fuel, or kerosene basically, which would come into the big tank and then flow out into the carburetor. So that's a $90 valve right there. So that was expensive, but I was putting it together the other day and I just looked at the other one like, ah, oh, you know what, everything's so loose. I'm really surprised it didn't leak. You know what, they still make them or still have them. Uh, I'm gonna get get a new one in, so. And then I thought, looking at the fuel bowl assembly on the other one too, it didn't look that great either, so I got a new one of them too. Sweet. Now let's see here. I want to see if this is a cork gasket or... Oh, it is too. Very nice. Nice, nice. So that should be good, except my screen just fell in. Something like that, something like that. Something like that. And this valve here and the other one, oh gosh, it was just so floppy. I'd like to actually pull this out of here. Have a look at this one and see how they do it now. Because this one just, the other one just seemed to have like, yeah. This looks like a piece of leather, a cork or something on here. Where the other one, it was so dried up and I'm amazed it wasn't leaking. Well, that almost needs a little bit of a spray in there with something. Get on her there, bud. Get on her. Put a little bit of that stuff on her, maybe. Probably shouldn't lube that thing up, but I just did. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Then this thing would have to get tightened on. Cram that on a little bit, and then that's your actual shut off there. I'll bring up the other one to show you though, but um, I am going to go down now with this points assembly. Oh. There's actually an extra cork in there. Interesting. They give me a spare cork? No. Is that what that's for? Sure looks like it, doesn't it? Hmm. I guess maybe you're supposed to do that with it. Put one on one side and then one on the other side and then... Uh, I don't know, that doesn't seem like it's good. You get on her too, bud! I think that's too, too, too much in there now. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe they want you to replace this one that's in here. Oh. Oh. Huh. Maybe they want you to replace this one that's in there. With this one. That'd be my thought. Except my thing here just fell off. <laughs> it doesn't really hold on too well when it's just sitting there, I guess. There we go. All right, I won't crank that right down yet, but there we go. Awesome. Okay, now we're good. This, I guess, is just, I don't know, a shipping gasket. <laughs> we'll call it. Okay, so we're good to go. I am going to take this down and uh, there's a bit of play in those bushings, but I don't think it's that bad yet. I'll take this down and get it all cleaned out. 
Make her look like newish. All right, just a little bit cleaner. Mostly got the grease and dirt off it. Re-oiled it. She flows pretty nice now. One thing I don't really know if it's right though is um, there's play this way. Almost like I'm missing a washer or something in there, but all, all the stuff's in there that should be. So let's look here. So on this little weight rotary thing here, there's a little washer and like a little clip, and then this plate goes on, and that's about it. So I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to have a little bit of play there, but I'm thinking if it gets uh, like pushed in, it hits, and I can kind of see by looking, or was it here now? This is actually wore a bit on here, I think. I probably should have just got a whole new governor, or uh, governor, yeah, that too, um, distributor set up, but ooh, big expensive. So we're gonna try to rebuild it and see uh, if she's all right or not. All right, Junior's just out riding his dirt bike, so he's making lots of noise. Okay, we need some very fine, here. Fine and rusty apparently. No bother. So we got to get this uh, this apparently is a little brass cotter key in here. Got to get him out and don't lose them because I don't think I got anything that small. Put them over there. And I'll zoom you in a little bit here. I didn't sandblast or clean or paint or anything. I just kind of got the dirty, greasy crap off her and then, uh, you know, drive on kind of thing. So, um, okay. So now we need a screwdriver. A screwdriver. And uh, one of them would work probably. On the very top here. This is the condenser, and I just got it kind of loose. Put her back together so I could kind of get her back together. The little screws seen probably lots of better days. <laughs> and then this guy is just uh, there's a little tiny copper strip that runs from this guy. Back to the point system here. So we got to get uh, that off and not hurt them. Although we get a new one, I think. Okay, and now we got to get the points themselves off. I could have got. An electronic ignition for this thing. 198 bucks though, I thought, oh, you know what? Uh, this isn't probably something you're gonna have to do a whole lot unless the points get kind of gross. Sometimes they'll get gross and then you gotta take them off. Just giving her, bud. Uh, give them a bit of a clean. All right. So now, I believe that adjuster thing stays there. A little washer, I forgot about him. Don't lose a little washer. that pin. Mr. Noisy. There we go. Okay, let's have a look at these points real close. Okay, just in case we need to 
use this little copper strip again. I'm pretty sure the kit would, I'm sure, come with it. I probably should get a picture of this guy here just before I, well, I do have other pictures. <gasps> Kabing! I do have other pictures of them before I took it all apart, so. Uh, let me grab my little screwdriver here. I think it might be a little more handier. Pick quick, little guy, pick quick. Awesome. Okay, I just want to have a look at these points. I know for one re for one thing, they were definitely too close of a gap. So someone has been into this, I guess, and uh, tried to set them and just probably didn't have a feeler gauge and just ended up, uh, oops, right, and ended up uh, putting them together without uh, measuring, so there we go. All right, let's get a good zoom in. These points here, as close as I can get you, looks like it's a little, yeah, you can see where she was going through one side there. What about this side? Oh, wow. I guess they're supposed to, whoop, where are you? There you are. I guess they're supposed to have a, a hole in it there. Yeah, it's not tremendously good looking. So, let's put some tremendously good looking ones back in here. All right, can't wait to get it started again. It's gonna be awesome. Now, let's see if I can remember how to do this. <laughs> Uh-oh. Got a good memory, but uh, she's short. <laughs> short memory. So I had to take that screw out. I had to take this screw out here to add advances or return. Re I don't like using the word retard, but disadvantages maybe, your, your spark will say. Um, I'd take it out, so I took a picture of it, and I got her back to where I kind of think it's supposed to be, so hopefully it's where it's supposed to be. Ooh, that's a lot smaller, isn't it? Hopefully that'll work. Well, that's the right one. Should hopefully be, but... So, let's have a look at these new points. If I can get the little baggie open. Um, put it on this towel here, or this plastic. All right, look at the fresh new ones. So awesome, you can't even see them hardly. Oh, they've incorporated a little bit of plastic into these now. There we go. Definitely look different to me. Ooh. That is a lot different. Let's see if we can get these in here. This is the old one. And that's the new one. Look at the difference in the height. Boy, I'm hoping I can... Uh, I'm hoping I can get that adjusted out of it. <laughs> so, anyways. We'll do what we can with what we got, I guess, here. Oops, sorry. Jeez. Need a camera person. Need a camera person. Now, these should probably get just a little spray of stuff. Get a little bit of a fluid film shot there, maybe. Just a hair bit. Wow, and this is all plastic now. Ooh, I don't know if I like that too much. Oh, wait a minute. I think I showed you the wrong side of those points. I did. Did I? That's the right way. Yeah, no, we showed you the right side. That side there just looks a lot taller. Boy, I'm hoping I can adjust that out. If not, we'll be going to TSC. Oh, 
Okay, I think we got her. Mostly got her. Oh, just jaking the brake right out of her there, bud. Oh boy, that's not a lot of room there. I don't know if I can get this. On there and a little pin in there too. There's not a whole lot of room. Oh boy. Hmm. Because these ones are flat. See, they're flat right in there. Well, this one it seemed to have like a little bit of a like they don't want you to use that little washer. I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Don't use the little washer. Because, uh... That does not go down any more than that. Ooh, that's going to be fun to get that little... down there too we do need that uh, oh no it comes with a new copper guy here it comes with a new one of those too but it seems even that seems huge I don't think they want you to use That's a tight fit. Well then, this is gonna be interesting. So you gotta get that onto there. Hmm. Very interesting. Give me a sec, I'll see if I can get this thing in here. Okay, so I popped her out of the housing again just because when I looked at this, I'm like, oh, this is gonna suck being in that housing, and you can't get straight onto this little screw here. So we also need to get uh, this feller locked in too, and that goes back over to to here. And that probably should be cleaned up a little bit better. I've got some stuff here. her off a bit nicer so yeah that would be this would be a lot easier to do this with um, I guess we'll go between these maybe I don't know it doesn't really matter but oh my fingers don't work small like this anymore that's my problem look at how clumsy I am with the fingers now we'll get her and just bear with me See if we can get this to start here. I don't know why they wouldn't. Well, I guess they don't do that, but it'd be nice if they attached all this for me. This is gonna be a little bit of a struggle. But we won. like a really long screw for this guy here but okay and that guy should line up mostly he will anyways and that goes to the condenser so 
before we get too much more tension on these guys here, we better get um, the screws back into here just to hold it down. <laughs> playing the points today playing the points okay just leave that loose now let's see how much these will move a whole lot yeah they should be all right should be all right. We'll have to wait and see, though. Okay, now we pretty much now have to put her back into the case. And I got a little bit of lube and all this stuff here too. And this was a bit tricky too to get this into here. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Now get this guy in the side here. And this is for your spark advanced or backwards, we'll say. And let me grab my picture. So it was just see that this changes spark advance, right? So the way this thing turns this plate, it'll make those lobes open sooner or later. That opens the point sooner or later. So if you're not at the top dead center, which this is probably also about 200 miles off. <laughs> but we've got... Just trying to look at my picture. Look at this guy. We're fairly close there. Yeah. Crank that feller down. Okay, now the fun begins. Gotta love fun. Fun, 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 fun. Fun, 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 fun. Okay, so this little condenser guy can go in there. And that's going to have to get bent back a little bit. Don't break it off. Hmm. That might be enough there. That'll get her. Look at the little wee pack of grease they give you. What? In the frickin' crap are you gonna grease with that? Not much. So that's why I, I pre-did ours. Okay, so that's that one. This is the one for the... Hold the condenser in. Oop. Me and my fingers not wanting to work. Seems like a, an awful small condenser, but maybe the one that was in it wasn't the right one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I haven't cleaned up the tractor yet, so I mean it needs lots of work yet too, but I don't know if you noticed though I used that small key again there. That big one actually wouldn't fit. It was too thick. So I'm like, well that's not much good. So this is supposed to go down through here now. And we can actually start the screw on here. Hi! How's it, go? How's it going? Then? We can actually start that screw on there. <laughs> really, bud? Oh my goodness. Let's 
get this started here. Okay. And then we need to fish this little U thingy here from the condenser. Just giving her blood. What is with people these days and just giving her? Get on her. Get on her. Okay, this isn't quite sitting exactly where I was hoping that it would have. I got that on there. Can't believe I got that on there, bud. Get her on there. All right, we'll just crank these guys together down. <laughs> Whoop, jeez. Back under there, you stinker. But anyway, she's in. She's in. All right, now that's it for that and that. There's our new rotor. And of course, that only fits on the one way. See, I got an issue with maybe that doesn't matter. I don't know. But, anyways, now we can see if we can set this gap here. We got to get this. to about its widest. Got my feeler gauge here. It's supposed to be 15 thousandths of an inch. What? There is no way possible that I nailed that. Oh crap, you know what? I didn't put that stupid spring back in here. Should be able to fish her back in here though. Should be able to fish her back in there. Don't forget the spring there, bud. Oh, you turd. I gotta get it down. Under this thing, though. Okay. I might have messed up. There we go. Got to get her down a bit more there. Oh, you stinker. That's about where it was sitting just on the edge of that tab there. That's got her. Okay. Now we might have messed up our points. Messed them up just a hair bit. Let's just make sure that we're at the top. Right about there. Yeah, gotta go a little bit bigger. Hi. It's not bad there. Okay, let's tighten these screws up. Oh, 
check it again here. It's not bad, but it's a little tight. Let's rotate it now. A little bit snug. Snug that down. Test them again here. It's not too bad there. Feels pretty good. I think I'll live with that. Lovely. 15 thou. Gap is set. Now that's running a bit close there for my liking. Seems like that springs off a little bit, maybe. Shouldn't be, though. It's all bolted down good. Hmm. I think uh, I just pulled it a bit and readjusted. It should be all right. Now, you're supposed to give those a little filing, but I don't have anything. I don't have anything that smaller than this emery paper, and it's kind of rough, this stuff. But, um... And this is all I really got. I don't have one of the little points file, so we'll just do it with that. That's all I'm going to do to it. I think should be good. Looks like it's closing more at the back again than on the front. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it right there. Sweet! Okay, so now we got to do uh, rotor. That's that. That's on there. And then we got to do a, a new cap. And yes, this did come with a new gasket. I'm gonna put it in. You know, that one's still not that bad. Let's get this pulled out of here though without maybe wrecking it again. No, nope, we wrecked it. <laughs> Probably could have just used that one again there, but um, yeah, this kit comes with it all there, so we might as well use her there, bud. We'll get her out. I'm gonna back these up a little bit here. We'll get her out here and get her going with this nice fresh new one. Look at that. I wonder what they use the rest of this cork for. <laughs> you know, like they take a big hole out and all you get is this little wee thing in the middle. Alright, that guy should... Should smush right in. Get everything seated. Holy schmackers, it doesn't 
Go much more than that. There. Oh man, why is that one so tight? Out of spec, probably. Holy jumping. There. Okay, now we can do, I guess we can put our coil on too. We gotta get him out of the box here. Let's, uh, coil, we're gonna need this gasket as well. Hmm, not 100% sure what that one's for yet. I'm gonna have to look up a, a, a parts that exploded view again because I'm not 100% sure where that little part goes. So I almost threw the coil out. Uh, before we go too much further, let's see if we know where that little piece goes. Well, the only thing I can see is under that plate, under that plate where that, um, the points plate there, there's like that round disc and then there's this doesn't show it in there but I'm not too sure what that would be for other than than that it doesn't show it on any, any diagram at all holy man that one's not good Okay, like I can't see, it looks like it's that size, but gosh, there wouldn't be room in there. Maybe it's for there. They want you to cover this thing right up, maybe with a little flammable piece of material. Is that what it's for? Betcha. Well, I guess I'll put it in there. I don't know. See it really being for anywhere else, but sweet. Okay, so that's got to go that way. And our nice new coil, isn't it nice? We can hook it right up to 12 volt there. Should be all right. It's all uh, what you macolated and stuff. So you got to make sure this guy here goes down and pushes on that screw. I guess there. It's kind of a weird system. And this thing has to go, of course, onto that guy there. As long as you can get everything to line up. And snap back in. Oh, we forgot the gasket. We kind of need that thing too. Hmm. Seems a little big for this. <laughs> I don't know if that's sort of too good. parts that just don't fit right. Hmm. Well. Woo! That should be it. That's all it seems to hold it on there. It's not a very tight fit, but I thought it might have been a little snugger than that. Didn't even see much different with the uh, darn it! <laughs> I just love redoing everything a hundred times. Then I can make sure I did it right. Geez, why will it not start? Okay, why why on earth won't it start? Because we didn't put a rotor in. So let's 
Let's just make sure that this is what we want. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's got to go right there. Seems like it fits pretty darn good for it. Why on earth will it not start? Boy, that doesn't fit on my much either. But it's held in by the cap, right? <laughs> now it'll start. won't hit start. Boy, I don't like how that fits. It feels weird. Hmm. Not sure if I like how loose that is, but what else can you do? Slip another something underneath there, maybe bend that in a little bit more. That'll snap her down a little bit tighter, but I don't think it's going to come off, but I mean, like I can see gap through there. That doesn't seem right to me. Maybe I'll work with it for a minute. All right, I just took this wire off the top here and just gave it a couple of taps, and it's a lot snugger now. So that's good. Happy with that. Okay, and this one is the gasket for onto the tractor and onto here kind of thing. I should clean this surface up a little better though. And uh, then we got a pile of stuff to clean on the tractor. I probably won't put you through watching that, but uh, we'll get her cleaned up and then uh, hopefully this thing will slip back in there. Okay, got the tractor cleaned up pretty good. I am going to go in my on my own here and fish these guys in through that tube. What I'm going to do is uh, cut the one end off at the distributor and um, or sorry, at the spark plug-in, and um, hopefully tape it to this thing and then drag it through. And uh, and these are the spark plug-ins, and then I just gotta put the end on there. Now these apparently were supposed to be trimmed to fit, but they might be all fairly close. There's one and two, and then looks like three and then four. There are the different lengths, so they might be pretty darn close. And then uh, I'll have to put on these things here. These go on the ends, these go on to the uh, distributor. Come on. And these things just kind of go on. I'm not going to put it right on, but they go on and then squish onto the thingy there. And, uh, I'm going to research that because I think you're supposed to bear this back a hair a little bit too, but maybe not. Maybe it's, I don't know, I'll have to research that. Because I've never done these before. I've always I've only done ones that are kind of ready to go. Let's get at her. But they actually included one for a coil wire as well here. So I'm going to have an extra one, which is interesting. But anyways, there we go. Okay, well, you guys tell me what you think, what i got to do with these. Do i got to, you know, cut a bit of this off to bear by the wire so it actually touches the inside there or do I need to actually run the wire out a little bit or do I cut a bit off say there's a piece hanging out here and then bend this around and then put this on and then crimp it on there with the wire kind of in touching inside of this thing I've never done these before so I don't know but anyways you guys let me know please if you could in the comments and uh, we're gonna just call our day, I guess, for there, because I gotta do some more research, and maybe you guys could tell me how these work, because <laughs> I don't know, I've never done these before. So uh, I know you gotta make sure you put the uh, this guy on first, though, before you do anything. Spray it with a bit of stuff would probably help. Get that on there, and then uh, crimp this guy, I guess, on. And uh, there's little little teeth in there to, to grab onto the wire, I guess, when you put it on, and then crimp it. It should hold it, but I, I kind of think you should. Bring a little piece of the wire out and uh, wrap it around inside there too or something just so it makes a good contact to this guy but if you could let me know 
But anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Looks like we got a distributor rebuilt ready to go anyways. Should be awesome. And uh, I'm going to have to run these wires through. Really not looking forward to that. But uh, <laughs> see what we can do. And I think what I'm going to try to do is cut the boot off, the one that's already on the tractor. So we'll say, you know, cut this off and then tape, tape this end to the other end, as in like this, and then drag it through that tube and then back out down to the distributor. I think that would probably be the best way to do it. But anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later and you guys have a good day.